Hello YouTube and welcome to this clan competition battle on the Iboki Gorge. Today I'm uh, hosting Justified uh, and John Smith's game against uh, Web and War Monkey. Web is from the YAF clan. Not sure what that stands for. Uh, now Iboki Gorge is a quite um, interesting map. Both players uh, start uh, on high. Uh, well, both teams start on a high ground, and then uh, the teams kind of have to race down to this river point and river choking. There are obvious uh, points that you can want to hold, but this is going to be a battle in the rain and a lot of fog here. So let's go ahead and take it the forces here. Let's start with the forces of Justified. Justified has uh, three units of both Samurai, and you can see that they all have some uh, experienced chevrons. Not too much, though. His main infantry line is composed of uh, uh, two units of Yari Samurai on the flanks there, one of the veteran, and then he's got some Nodachi in his center, and then a Katana Samurai, uh, and then two more Yari Samurai at the edge, and you can see that some of the Nodachis, uh, both of the Nodachis are actually veterans. At the back here, he's got another Yari Samurai, so he's going with a heavy spear build here. And then he has another Katana Samurai and uh, another Nodachi. So three Nodachi, two Katana, and uh, four Yari Samurai, compo uh, paired with three units of both Samurai. And there's his general. As for his cavalry, well, he has two units of Yari Cavalry. And one of them is called Yari Window Kibetai. And uh, they are a three experience chevron unit. Uh, on the other side of the battlefield, let's go here. Take a look at the other Matsuda players' forces. Uh, this is uh, John Smith, 312. You've seen him before in my videos. He's got two units of uh, bows here at the front. One is a bow Shigaru, and one is a bow Samurai. And then he's got a Yari Ashigaru running forward to support them. Two more Yari Ashigaru here supporting two more bow units, pretty much the same composition. And then over here, there's he's got one unit of light cavalry, there's his general. And then you can see that his infantry force is composed of katana samurai. And uh, some of them are veterans, and others are not veterans. And you can see here that he has adopted the Matsuda veteran colors. And you can see the <laughs> how the armor is wet on those guys. And that reduces gloss, kind of like. And then you can see his cavalry force is uh, his strength. He's got some Yari Cav, and then two units of unupgraded great guards. So it looks like he just got them. You can see that Justified has quickly moved to capture, I mean, um, John Smith has uh, quickly moved to capture the farmhouse. This is going to increase your stamina and movement for all the units uh, on the battlefield. And you can see that um, um, Justified here is just holding this point at the moment. He's also sending troops to capture the Sword Dojo. Now let's take a look at their opponents. Their opponents seem to just want to sit on the hill for now. Uh, but let's take a look at the uh, armies. Uh, the red player, who is War Monkey, has a uh, very weird but weirdly lined up, but I'd say effective uh, bow line, or so it seems. He's got three bow Ashigaru, and then he's got two matchlock Ashigaru. Well, it might not be uh, super class, but it does seem to have a good number uh, advantage. He has two Naginata. He has yeah, two Naginata Samurai on that flank, and then a Yari Samurai there. And then in his middle, there are two no, no one Odachi Katana uh, combo, a Yari Samurai in the front there, uh, two more uh, sword units, another uh, Nodachi Katana, and then he's got a Yari Samurai. So you can see that he is using Yari Samurai and uh, Boa Shigaru. Um, uh, he's using the Boa Shigaru, no, he's not using Boa Shigaru, he's using Yari Samurai to protect uh, his infantry lines and support his bowlands at the same time. Good idea. And then he's got the heavy armor, heavy infantry Naginata Samurai here uh, at the edge. And now Naginata Samurai don't fight Cav as well as Yari Samurai, but they can withstand mi missiles better and uh, they have better armor. Uh, they can also fight better in a melee. At the back here you've got two units of Yari Cavalry, two more units of Yari Cavalry. And uh, that seems to be his force. There's one more uh, Yari Samurai there at the back in support of the general. So another uh, spear heavy build here. You can see in the woods here we've got a fire projecting mongonel. And uh, a player camping a hill with a fire projecting mongonel could be a very annoying thing. So we'll see how that goes down for these guys. So continuing with Webb's army. Webb has um, several spear uh, units here. He's got with the Nakinata mixed in. He's got one Nakinata Samurai, two Yari Ashigaru. One is a uh, veteran with two experienced chevrons. And then he has a Yari Samurai there at the flank. More spear units here. He's got a Naginata Samurai. Well, it's not a spear, it's a Naginata. He's got a Naginata Samurai. And then he's got another Naginata Samurai there. And uh, amongst them are some sword units. One Lone Sword Dashigaru, two Katana Samurai. And that is his army. He has sent uh, a unit <coughs> of um, Boashigaru actually here. And looks like they are trying to uh, shoot down 
uh, these other uh, Bo Samurai and Boa Shigaru of um, of Justified. Uh, they do have the hill advantage, but you can see that they are going to get outshot really quickly here. And uh, this was quite a risky move. Uh, I mean, they could have been charged uh, and removed from the battle easily because look how far away they are. But look over here on the left. Um, looks like the forces of John Smith's cavalry have moved up on the ridge here. So now they're in a good position uh, if an engagement is to occur. And you can see a lot of fog. And uh, I think this is the first time I've cast a battle in the rain. And I really like the rain effects here. Uh, especially how the uh, how the units look like you can tell that they're like wet and soggy as opposed to being glossy which I think this game needs to address uh, the glossiness of the unit in the sun is just horrid um, but maybe with the with the next patch patch 2.0 which is actually in place to come out uh, in the first week of May and I'm really looking forward to that um, I read somewhere that it's going to have about 500 or more than 500 um, uh, multiplayer and single player fixes and look at this little little camp here nice 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 so it looks like it's going to be a stalemate so without further ado let's go ahead and speed up uh, the game here uh, you can see that no one is still really moving even though uh, this player over here is rearranging his men uh, Webb is rearranging his men and uh, Justified is still keeping his cavalry there, nice and uh, far away. And uh, here we go. Still more of nothing. You can see some action here. Uh, these are Yari Samurai. They're actually running forward. I don't know what they're trying to do. Uh, I guess he's trying to send his Yari Samurai forward to either deplete the, uh, the ammunition of the siege units. Uh, or to kind of force an engagement and allow uh, the cavalry of Justify to support or he could be thinking about uh, just securing his sword dojo and you can see now um, um, Justified moves his forces uh, towards the archery dojo and looks like the Mata de players are going to have a building superiority here and uh, from Justified's perspective they see that so not really clear what the enemy has for these soldiers right here. So here they go, marching in the rain, enjoying their strolls. And uh, for all you guys who've been asking about the how, how my units look different, this is a, I've got the unit variety mat, uh, the unit variety pack installed. I'll put a link for it in the description, but um, be aware there are some bugs uh, that have been reported on it. Uh, things like roads disappearing and your horse's textures going all weird. Uh, thankfully no one has noticed the horse texture yet, but um, in time people will uh, recognize it. So now Justified pushing on the right flank uh, off of these two players. Looks like he is trying to go for this hill, which is a good point to begin and initialize his attack. He is getting showered as his units climb up. And uh, um, you can see here uh, Boa Shigaru, heavily upgraded Boa Shigaru. And you can tell that these guys have bow uh, reload skills, even though they're, uh, they're in the rain. Uh, so they're going to be firing a little bit slower. Um, so here we go, uh, Justified still scaling up and looks like he's going to get charged here. Yari Cavalry charge right into that uh, Nodachi uh, Samurai and that's going to do good damage. Uh, now Webb should pull out uh, because now he's going to start taking casualties of his own. Uh, now he's going to stay there and duke that out. Uh, on the left here, nothing really happening. Uh, at this point, um, John Smith is completely separated. Uh, from Justified, and we'll see how Justified does on that flank. You can see, as I said, that Cav unit is going chewed up, is getting chewed up. Dachi Samurai took a little bit more casualties there, uh, but that Yari Cav unit should have been pulled out, and another charge would have probably done more damage. Still, uh, more up, more action up here. Uh, some Yari Samurai fighting the Katana Samurai in the trees. Some Yari Ashigaru fighting the Katana Samurai in the trees. Uh, here's some action there, and uh, let me go ahead and hide the mini map. And uh, you can see uh, that the Ashigaru units are going to quickly get overrun. Uh, back here, you can see uh, what's going on. So, Justify doing a very, very smart thing here. A very smart move. Instead of just walking up the hill, since his opponent is obviously going to camp the hill, he chose to go into the trees and get that uh, archer cover. This way, uh, even if the archers do shoot at him, uh, they're shooting in the trees and in the rain, so that kind of nerfs their arrows hugely. And you can see now that... Um, um, Webb is going to actually leave his hill advantage, and now if he does engage Justified, Justified does have 
uh, the hill advantage. You can see Justified sending a Yari Cavalry here. I don't know what, maybe he wanted to charge, but uh, found out that, oh no, he's going to go salvage the situation here. Uh, he's going to go save his archers against that uh, Yari Cav unit. And you can see that these uh, infantry have completely left their superior position. In comes uh, Justified's general for a quick charge, and he's going to run out of there. I think this is an attempt to slow the infantry down. Maybe bait them, but the other player didn't do that. And now he's going to activate Rally there to make his troops last a little longer. On the left here, not much has really happened. Uh, John Smith did charge right into these Boa Shigaru, and he's going to, I think, route them. Going back over here where most of the action is happening, you can see now that Justified is going to push the advantage with his uh, Yari and Katana counterparts. You can see they're quite tired. There is one unit here uh, of uh, Yari Samurai, and I don't know whether they're going to be attempting to flank around to hit the general. Uh, but you can see now, even though these troops are tired, they are fighting um, and outnumbering uh, their opponent's troops. Down here, uh, you've got a big mix of infantry and uh, cavalry, and you can see that <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> these cavalry, uh, these uh, Yari units are actually miraculously routing. Um, even though there's only one Nodachi Samurai and a ton shit of cav, um, you can see that they uh, they they are still f they're also fighting both samurai there. So this is a weird mix up here. Uh, I guess the presence of the general of, uh, of Justified made that difference. Moving back here, you can see that um, uh, John Smith is pretty much doing the exact same thing, using the trees for natural cover, and he's going to push up here, but you can see that the red player has pushed his matchlock, Ashigaru, uh, up the hill, and he's going to be taking shots, but now look at this. These shots are affecting his men as well, so th this is not how you use matchlock, Ashigaru, guys. Don't shoot into the backs of your own men. It's going to do you more damage than it does good, unless your units have, like, ridiculously awesome morale, but still, you're going to be hitting your own men. Matchlocks are used to absorb a frontal charge and then swing them around to the flank and get flanking shots. That's the best use. Don't be shooting into your men like this because right now you can see, especially with the heal disadvantage and the trees, he's just shooting into his own men. Um, back here on the uh, right side, you can see that uh, Justified is just cleaning up. Uh, he just outplayed that player there. You can see that that boggy missed there. If that player um, lined up his infantry better, he would have won it. Uh, but they were fighting at a hill disadvantage. You can see that there's a unit of uh, Yari Samurai chasing that unit of cavalry there that uh, Justified probably forgot about. And now, uh, pushing the advantage, you can see that uh, also more hit more hidden units here. These are the two great guard unused in the battle as yet. And maybe they are being saved to a later uh, incident, but I would use them now. There's no reason to wait. And uh, here, you can see that these units are uh, marching uphill through the trees and uh, fighting. They're being shot at by that matchlock unit over there. And uh, you can see that some cavalry hitting in, moving in to attack them. And uh, I think these are, yes, indeed, they are uh, some Katana Samurai. So let's pan over there and check what's happening over here. Uh, these are the Yari Cavalry for Justified, and they are now engaging with the Matlock Samurai, uh, Matlock Ashigaru in the woods. And you can see that there's some more bow units here, so heavy, heavy uh, uh, foliage here. And here come the uh, bow, uh, bow Ashigaru, and looks like they're going to actually either charge or just shoot a bright line, a uh, point blank. I don't know what they're planning to do. Um, more cavalry here, but this is actually War Monkey's cavalry. And going down here. You can see that uh, Justified uh, is actually losing the battle once the infantry did engage. And here comes the Great Guard, and they're going to make a run for the general who's running for spear units. And look at that excellent play here by uh, by uh, War Monkey, and he made those Great Guard run right into the Ari Samurai. Let's see if Justified does uh, see it. He does. He's going to try and pull out. And uh, back here, uh, some action happening. You can see Justified having better luck at the top than he is at the bottom. Uh, and here his units are going to start to route. In comes a unit of web and this is a Yari Ashigaru And uh, you can see that they're still being shot over here. Here come Justified's forces John Smith now on the left has lost at the bottom side of his army He does have a good number of archers left who are shooting uphill though uh, Into this uh, unit of Katana Samurai. They are in the trees, but they are very tired and their morale isn't looking too good at all uh, Over here towards the top. You've got an engagement between some Katana Samurai and some Yari Samurai and the Katana Samurai will walk out of this. Uh, the victors. There they go. A lot of carnage in the foliage. And those matchlock units now still doing their thing. Still taking shots. And um, let's see here what's happening uh, in the grand review. You can see uh, more forces of web seem to be coming back into the fight. And uh, now it's uh, 
now it's an interesting it, it could go either way you can see a lot of units are tired uh one unit this is the general unit of um of john smith and you can see he's keeping it in close proximity to his uh, uh utmost elite infantry he wants to uh, make sure that even if all the rest of his army fails he can use these guys um to uh mow down uh his opponent's remaining troops and you can see here that they are fighting against the Yari samurai moving back out of the trees you can see he still have a, he still has a good number of bone units and look at this this Yari cavalry unit is going to actually route against that bow samurai merely because they're uh, they're heavily depleted and there's also a, a bow samurai and a bow ashigaru mix and in comes the great guard gonna route that uh, Yari cab unit and webb's forces are coming back into the fight or so it seems um and I don't know if he was, uh, if he went to capture the buildings with them or what. Yeah, he went to, uh, he went to, I guess when they were routing, he went and uh, took away the archery dojo from the Matsuda players and then they're now running back. Uh, I don't know if that made much of a difference because they were shooting in the trees. We can see now that um, after a, a lot of carnage, the Matsuda players are slowly closing in onto uh, War Monkey's forces. Uh, the forces here at the bottom of the hill completely collapsed. There are some Yari Samurai fighting Bow Samurai. And um, seeing that these guys are heavily depleted, the Bow Samurai will actually do some damage. But um, I think the Bow Samurai will probably lose. Yep, there they go. They're going to rout. And the Katana Samurai now engaging in more bow units. And uh, this is actually smart play. At this point in the battle, seeing that uh, all what's up here is missile troops and the general, uh, what, what John Smith is doing here is just slowing this infantry down and getting rid of that because uh, look over here you've got a distinct uh, unit superiority now uh, justified just marching his troops who are very tired going up trying to get a better hill position and uh, maybe he'll be able to then join uh, the rest of the forces here which are fighting just downhill from here there they are uh, and there's the general of uh, war monkey and uh, let's go down here and check what's happening you can see that there is a great guard unit duking it out with these archers and here is the infantry and the general of um, John Smith and they're going to start routing that Machlaka Shigaru unit and here they are hitting and there's that general for War Monkey as well uh, the troops that were at the bottom of the hill they're trying to run up let's see if they make it in time uh, they probably won't you can see that the general there is starting to route yeah they actually won't and you can see uh, look at this justified pushing his troops down and they're go he's going to actually get a downhill charge on those guys and uh, meet them this is a Yari Ashigaru, so not going to stand much of a chance for those elite katana samurai and in comes a charge right into uh, the Yari Ashigaru. I don't know if uh, just John Smith saw this uh, but that's a big mistake here and let's see if that'll cost him his general or not um, the red player of War, uh, War Monkey completely collapsed on top of that hill and uh, you can see that uh, the, the tactic of the Mazda players was to use the trees in their advance but this was a very bloody battle and uh, props to all players however good that the Matsuda guys were able to actually beat the guys who just stayed on the hill and I think the reason they were able to was because they had all the buildings at one point um, so if, you're if your opponent wants to camp especially in a 2v2 go ahead and capture the building and uh, go ahead and go up that hill because you'll be able to do it uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.